People say this dry powder is alive. Yeah, right. It's called yeast. I'm sure it doesn't look very alive, but you never know. So I'm going to put it to the test with this balloon. Here goes. First I measure out a handful of yeast. Then I tip some of the yeast into the balloon. Spoonful of sugar, down the hatch. About half a cup of water. Tie a knot. And see if this yeast is going to come alive. Whoa, it's taking on a life of its own. It's growing bigger and bigger. Mix yeast with sugar and water, and it starts to act like an organism. It uses sugar and oxygen in the balloon to produce a gas called carbon dioxide. The more gas, the bigger the balloon. Watch this. I'll make it roll without even touching it. To power it up, you'll need a balloon and... <laughs> give it a good rub on yourself or anyone else's. Now hold the balloon a little bit in front of the can. The can will start to roll all by itself. Hey, let me try. It's called static electricity. Nice handy, John. I'm going to make Mr. Balloon Man. And this is going to be his cap. But the cap's too small. Oh, it's my last one. And I can't get it undone. This calls for a cool head. Hang on, that gives me an idea. See you in the morning. Wow, it's worked. Let's see if the cap fits. Yay! The balloon is full of air. When the air's warm, the molecules have more energy. They bounce around like crazy inside the balloon, making it bigger. But as it cools down, the air molecules lose their energy, and the balloon should shrink. He's not such a big head after all. Wrapping presents again. It's no fun when they're not for me. I need a lift. Whoa, that works. How about the paper? That gives me an idea. I'll need some tissue paper, some scissors, a scarf, and a metal tray. Now if I cut out some little figures from tissue paper, put them on the metal plate, then rub the balloon with the scarf, watch what happens to my little people. They're dancing! The balloon becomes electrically charged when it's rubbed with a woolen scarf. It attracts the dancers and also charges them. After a while, they fall down. Then they're attracted all over again. As long as I keep rubbing, they'll keep dancing. It's cheaper than batteries. We're decorating our house because we're having a party. Come on, slow coach. We know balloons stretch. They're made of rubber. Rubber stretches. Whoa, he's making me dizzy. What was all that for? It's warm. The stretching makes molecules inside the balloon all crash into each other. All the friction produces heat. Like when we rub our hands together. They're hot. Hey, that's hot. Ah. Ah. He's getting hot. So am I. I know what else the balloon's good for. Cooling you down. Whew. <laughs>